the devil has been dancing, that time is over. It's a time for us to dance. We've been living in lockdown. But now, we are out. Tell the demon that I am out. Ndiwa paka misele ezintabe nina ametho am. Luya guvela pina unge toluam. Verse 2. Unge toluam luvela kuye hova. Umenzi wezulu ne shabati. Akai kuka alu nikele unya oluako egutibilike ni. Akai kuka ozele umtine wako. Verse 4. Uyabona akozeli. Akalali umtine kasirayeli. Nguye hova umtine wako. Nguye hova umtunzi wako. Eku nene kwako. Verse 6. Emini ilanga aliku kwenza kalisa. Nenyanga ebu suku. Uye hova uya kukutina ebu bini bonke. Uya kukutina umpifumlo wako. Verse 8. Uye hova uya kukutina ukupuma kwako nukungena kwako. Say, Lord Jesus, I receive your word. Bless it in the name of Jesus. Lifting the eyes to God. We have to lift our eyes to God. Do not turn your eyes to any other direction. We must lift our eyes to God. More special those who know God. They must lift their eyes to God. Somebody say Amen. When you lift your eyes to God, the reasons why you do that. And the first reason is, it is because you are waiting something. As you are waiting, you must know where will it be coming from. But people, because they don't focus to God, they can take anything from anywhere. Say amen. Say amen. So David says, I lift my eyes to God. I lift my eyes to the mountain. I lift my eyes to the hill. He says, My help will come from God. Somebody say, Amen. And then he continues and says, The maker. Of heaven and earth. In other words, David was so disciplined. 
Number two, he knew his position. Number three, he was not shifted. Even if times are difficult in his life, but he would stand in his position. When you read the book of Psalms, you hear him sometimes crying. There is another chapter where he says, I nearly be shifted when I see the prosperity of the wicked. He says, I nearly leave my position because it is like he was not moving there was no change but people around him there was a progress but I like it because he says when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. So he knew on earth that there are wicked people and he is not a wicked person. He didn't want even the success of the wicked because he knew who he was. But he nearly shifted. And many people, they shift when there is no move in their lives. More special. If they don't know where their help will come from. When you are a child of God, you must know that only God will be your provider. Say amen. Say amen. Only God must be your provider. That is why you must know your God. And how do you know him? Through Jesus who is in you. The Bible says Jesus said, I am the way, I am the life, and I am the truth. He says, No one can go to the Father except to me. In other words, when Jesus is in you, He takes you to God. Say Amen. Say Amen. So the first position that you must know, never shift from Jesus in you. Because He takes you to God. Don't doubt that Jesus in you He takes you to God He takes your prayer items And takes them to God Never doubt that Never undermine that Jesus in you The Bible says there is only one man between man and God is the man Christ Jesus there is only one man between man and God is the man Christ Jesus Ancestors cannot help you. Nobody else can help you. Jesus in you will take you to God. In the book of Hebrews, the Bible says, He intercedes for us. He intercedes. As you pray, he receives your prayers and present them to God and begin to explain them better than you explain. 
The Bible says He is our advocate He is not a lawyer He is an advocate He takes And stand for you If you have a problem You remain without a problem And your problems remain in Jesus And then he goes with your problems Whilst you remain without a problem And at that time You are waiting the results The Bible says God is a righteous judge During the time When you are waiting results God is going to judge things And when he judges things He looks Jesus On what he did in Calvary he looks Jesus based on what he did on Calvary. Not because of your perfection. Not because of your goodness. But when he becomes an advocate he comes to you knowing your weakness. Knowing your mistakes. And then he becomes the advocate. He goes to God and at that time you don't deserve good results. But because the advocate many people will tell you that in court there are what we call as attorneys and there are advocates. So if an advocate has done a mistake they, he is in the risk of being removed from the list of advocates so they are of higher level to debate things to talk issues to investigate things and bring a right judgment so Jesus is our advocate when we are unable to win a case because we are the children of God we end winning because he died on Calvary so David says I lift my eyes to the hill why? On the hill We are born in Elu Yes my father We are born in Elu In Daben On the hill We are born in Elu Yes my father But believers Because of problems They end shifting As I said And lose focus but I encourage you now If you have been shifting You come back to your position Somebody say amen Somebody say amen Jesus Christ Is the only one who is able To bring What you want Jesus Christ is the only one who is able to bring what you want, what you need. Why? He is God. He is God. We are living in times where there is competition of God. We live in times where there is a high competition of God. They compete in answers. Jesus doesn't compete. He is. He is God. 
He doesn't try to be God. He is God. He doesn't compete. That is why many people, if Jesus doesn't answer, they leave Jesus as if Jesus is competing. Jesus doesn't compete. He is God. Answer or no answer. He is God. He remains God. He will be God. He was God. The Bible says. By him. All things were made. By him. Without him. Nothing existed. So Jesus doesn't compete in power, in being God. He doesn't compete in creating, in breakthroughs. He doesn't compete. He is God. That is why he takes his time. All people who serve God they must learn to rely on him not on competition why God takes his time time belongs to God so God doesn't commit and he chased the devil away when the devil said I want to be like God he was chased out because God doesn't commit so if you need something from God as a child of God never compete with people who don't serve your God. You have your own time. Even if they can answer before you if the marine spirit answered God takes his time. Ah. He takes his time. This is God. He has got power to keep you. Even if things are bad. He can keep you. This is God. He can handle you. Whilst you panic. This is God. He is not shaken by pressure. He is God. Time respect him. He doesn't just live it anyhow. He was there before time. So you don't compete. If you need something from God. You must always know that my God in his time is going to come. Why? What he spoke will surely come to pass. Because he is God. If he spoke, it will happen. If he spoke, if he promised, what he promised will come. It will come. Not because he ran so that the false god may not do their power. They can do what they want. But in the time of God, it will come. 
So the Bible says oh, Bible there is. was this competition oh, in the children of Israel. Oh, the Bible says the Bible they is. shifted from God oh, and ran to Baal during the time of Elijah. The Bible says Bible Elijah was in problems. He remained alone focusing to God. The whole nation shifted to Baal. And there was a time where he said Agabui was being Let us go to the altar and let everyone bring his God. Bring in Gomo Bring your cattle. Abbasum Lilo. And we need to light them. But we need not to do a light them. And in that time, people were trusting God. And the Bible says, Bible Elijah said, Start first. Because God doesn't run faster, He takes His time. Run, do it first. Even when he was to answer Abraham, he never ran faster. He took his time. Isaac delayed. Ishmael came first. Why? God doesn't compete. He takes his time. And many people, they think that God will run faster than the devil. These gods, let them perform their miracles. But you will see the miracle of God. It's going to happen. God can leave the devil and do what he wants. But he cannot finish it. He cannot finish it. When God begins to be God. And Elijah said. They need not to do lit fire. And he said to this people. Call your God. And he sat down. They call Baal. 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 Quiet. What in quark? Bal! Bali! Quiet. What in quark? Bal! Bali! Quiet. What in quark? And he said, What in will? Maybe they are sleeping. What in Sabi Noba? Mangaba Balele. Shout louder. Can you pin the Memelele? Bali! Bali! Quiet! What is quack? Why? Ngoba! Bal is not God! Oh, Bali and Nguti! There are things in your life. They don't need your ancestors. They don't need your doctors. They don't need anything. But they need God. What does it do? Bal! Bali! Nothing. They're sleeping. Elijah is alone. Because when you are alone, you are not alone. When you are alone, it means you are not alone. You will never be alone if you are alone. If you are alone, it means God is there. Bali, Bali, quiet. What is quack? Then he said, "It's my time." What no? The figure of the He looked to heaven. What song am I zulu? He looked to heaven. What song am I zulu? I still have a picture of him. This is not funny. This song going to If his God could fail to answer, who would take over? Kaka wanga zanga wakwa zupendu. He was to be killed. Wakufanya dobo wabula. And when God 
When, when people when you are in a risk when they have concluded that surely they are going to kill they will not kill the reason why God steps in is because your enemies have come to a final decision that is why God never came early when he was redeeming Israel for 12 times Moses facing Pharaoh it was because there was still another power behind but when the devil has got his last power God steps in my father and when he steps in I feel something is going to happen when he steps in the devil will watch what the Lord is doing so at that time of Elijah Elijah was alone and they were to kill him. He looked to heaven. God the creator. He was not looking down now. He was looking to the creator. The capable one. Ah, my father. The capable. The one who is able. Oh, Some father. of you here. They are going to see. The capable one. In the name of Jesus. Hey. Some of you here, we are going to see the capable God. When God begins to be God, you need to do this first. You must know the God you serve. If you don't know him, you will shift what you shame. Know God that you serve the one who was not created. Your life begins to be above all human understanding. Tap there. Stay there. Grow until you reach there. Your God was not created. Your God created everything. 